Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Parley, the Vice President of Global Market Development at the U.S. Green Building Council. And I'm here to share a quick demo of a new feature which enables projects to change their rating system or upgrade to a different version of the rating system directly in Lead Online. This provides a self-service option for project managers and administrators, which would have previously required outreach to our team. So now it's a much faster and more efficient process that can be executed real time. Plus, when transitioning to the new rating system, you'll have access to the HTML forms that are available to all newly registered V4 and V4.1 projects. So now I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can see this feature in Lead Online. Now, I mentioned that this option is available to project administrators and managers, so I've selected a project where I hold that role. And then I'm going to focus in on this section here um, on project details where it says rating system. And you'll see that I'm currently registered as a lead V4 BDNC NC project. You'll also notice this button here uh, right beside it, which says change. And when I select that button, I am going to get a drop down, which includes all of the available rating systems and versions. So I'm currently a V4 project. I'm going to go ahead and select a V4.1 project. And when I do that, I'm indicating that I want to switch from V4 to V4.1, uh, both within BDNC new construction. I get this pop up that gives a number of disclaimers that are very important. So we're gonna walk through them now, um, but you'll also be prompted to check this uh, box, ensuring that you have read them whenever you are trying to make a shift between rating systems or versions. So what it basically says is when you transfer a project to a new rating system or version, there's gonna be a number of things that change and a number of things that stay the same. So the things that stay the same are gonna be the project details. These items on that page that we were just on are really going to predominantly remain the same. You will transfer them over to your new project. Also, your project team will carry over with you. Any project team members that you have will also be associated with the new project. The other thing that will remain consistent is that any payments that you have made associated with the current project will transfer over to the new project. So all of that information will be consistent um, when you transfer to a new rating system. The things that will uh, change are the fact that you will need to sign a brand new certification agreement. Um, in addition, none of the forms data is going to transfer over and none of your file uploads are going to transfer over. So that is a really important point to note. This is a, uh, a streamlined way for you to transfer to a new rating system. You get access to the new HTML forms, but it does not carry your information over. So if there is any information that you have input into the forms or any files that you have uploaded, you will want to, to um, extract those before you make this change because we will not retain them and we will not be able to, to revert back. So that's very important that you know that. Um, uh, you also have a note here that once a project is upgraded to a newer version of lead, it cannot be downgraded or reverted back to an older rating system. So please beware, there's no option of going back to a older version of the rating system once you go forward. I also just want to note that when you do upgrade to a newer rating system version, the project ID and the registration date changes. That doesn't happen if you're um, change, switching in between the, a, uh, uh, the v, a V4 to a, v, a different V4 rating system, but if you go from a V4 to V4.1 or lead 2009 to V4 or V4.1, your project ID number will change and your registration date will change. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm changing um, this project here. And when I do that, I am going to receive a prompt to sign the certification agreement. So I will go ahead and scroll through that and agree to the certification agreement again. And when I go um, and select that, the next page that I'm going to see is the payment page because in transferring to a new project uh, version or rating system, you're going to want the invoice or the payment to be associated with the new project. So we're basically creating a new invoice associated with your project. Um, and when doing that, even if you've already paid, there's going to be a $0 amount that's associated with it. And you're still going to want to submit for um, to ensure that that payment is associated with your, your new project. So in this case, I have not paid yet. So I have a pending transaction here. And I am going to go ahead and enter my information here and generate this invoice. And once that goes through, I can show you the um, 
the different payment options or the different uh, invoices that are available. So again, if you've already made payment, this will be showing a $0 amount, but you will still will have to select that button that says submit payment or generate invoice um, in order to ensure that we have the right paper trail in place showing that the invoice is, so, is associated with your current project. So this invoice has been processed successfully. We will select done. I'm gonna go back into this project and you will see on the payment section, you'll see this invoice. That was your prior invoice and this was canceled. So it's no longer active. This is the invoice that we just generated that's in conjunction with our new project here. Um, I'll also go over to this details page and you can see all of the project details transferred over. You're also going to see that there's a little green arrow there. And if you click on it, you can see the previous project details as well as the new project details. So again, by making this shift, you have generated a new project ID. You are creating basically a new project that has um, a certain information maintained, but you will go, if you go to the credit section, you are going to see all of the different um, credit forms associated with this new rating system. And if you go to your team, you will see all of the different team members that were previously associated with your project. So with that, that is the rating system change functionality. Um, if um, you would like to change your rating system again, after you've already adjusted it from uh, from B4 to B4.1, you can do it again. There will be another option to uh, generate an invoice after or change your rating system after a short period of time, um, and you can change it as you see fit. So with that, um, I thank you very much for your time today. I hope you will find this new feature useful. We always welcome additional feedback, so please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and we hope you have a great day. Thanks very much.